Good morning, friends, or good afternoon, depending on when you're watching this video. I am actually going to be talking to you a little bit today about um, something that I think is super fun, and that is converting between place values. Now, the reason that I think this is fun is because converting between place values is easy as being able to count by tens. So hopefully you know how to count by tens. Let's do that real quick all the way up to 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Woohoo, look at us go. So 110 is 10, two tens is 20, three tens is 30, four tens is 40, five is 50, six is 60, seven is 70, eight is 80, nine is 90, and 100 is 10 tens. Counting by tens. Awesome. So if 110 equals 10 ones, if 110, we'll say there's a rod there. In fact, I think I actually have actual rods and cubes that we can use. If I can get them over here. If we say that 110 equals 10 ones, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then we can say the same thing the other way that ten ones. equals one ten. Pretty nifty, right? So let me get my tools out over here because we're going to go big today. As we go through this lesson, look, I've got ones and I've got hundreds and I've got, where are my tens? Where are they hiding? Are they on the other side of this? Oh, they're there. All right. So I've got ones, I've got tens, I've got hundreds, and then I've got thousands. So we're going to go through and create a chart that shows how these are equivalent. So, we've already discussed that 110 equals 10 ones, and we drew a picture for that one. Now, let's see if I can get these out. Now, what if we have 10 tens? So, let's look at 10 tens 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, that's six tens, 70, 80, 90, 100. So if we have 10 tens, 10 tens equals 100. So this is what a 100 looks like. 10 tens equals 100. Okay, so we don't have to draw all that. We can say 110 equals 10 ones, 1 100 equals 10 tens. So then how much is 10 hundreds? How much is 10 hundreds? Well, let's find out. There's one. Let's 
two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's count them. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. So 1,000 is the same as 10 hundreds. 1,000 is the same as 10 hundreds. So here's 1,000 and here is ten hundreds. Do you see that they're the same? All right. Then we start to deal with fractions. These are the parts of the whole, also known as decimals. So fractions and decimals go hand in hand. So we know that one tenth, one tenth, equals 10 hundredths. One tenth equals 10 hundredths. So look, here's our hundreds, which we can break apart. And one of these, one tenth equals 10 of these little pieces right here. So we're just breaking it apart into smaller pieces. So we're not looking at this as a whole hundred, but we're looking at it as if it is a hundred little pieces, a hundred little pieces, a hundred of these little cubes. Okay. 10 of those is one tenth. All right. So one hundredth, equals 10 thousandths, 10 thousandths. Again, if we look at this ginormous cube, one of these could fit in there 10 times. Okay, so one of these, one hundredth, is 10 thousandths. So again, we're just breaking it apart into smaller pieces when we're going the opposite direction. I know that that can sometimes be confusing. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here and we'll do part two. In